So let's just run quickly about how to set up your brochure. We're going to start with the basics here. File, New, Document. This page comes up. Um, you're going to set the pages as two because you need a front and a back for your brochure. The orientation is going to be landscape, right? Um, the page size is letter. You do not want facing pages because after all, these are not a magazine, it's a brochure. Um, you need three columns and remember that the gutter needs to be twice the size as the margin. So in this case, I'm going to make my gutter half an inch and I'm going to make my margins a quarter of an inch. You need a bleed because your professor insists on it, which is 0.125 IN. That's an eighth of an inch or um, P9. And I usually put some slug. I'm going to put two inches of slug um, on the right. And so what you get is this. Um, the slug is this area over here. Okay, you can see the bleed. Um, and now I'm going to create um, three layers. You can create four if you have graphics. I'm not going to um, have graphics in this quick little introduction. That's the background. It's on the bottom. Next I have images, which are the photographs. And the top one is text. Text is always on the top. Okay, after I do that, I am going to put in a grid because you're required to have a grid. That comes under layout, create guides. We already have um, divisions of three for the three columns for, um, for columns, right? So if we, right now, if we just go ahead and put in, I'm going to use 12 rows with no gutter. That gives me 12 divisions. I'm going to have it go across the page because I'm interested in laying out my photographs, which will all go to the bleed. Um, I could if I knew I was going to use the margin all the time. I might op put my guides into the margins, but anyhow. So when I'm done, what I get, I use 12 because it gives me both the 1, 2, 3. That's a quarter, or 1, 2, 3, 4. This is a third, right? Those are important places that I want to know on the page. So now I have a very, very, very simple grid. If I want to make it a little bit more complex, I can always drag something that's into the middle of the column. Uh, InDesign will probably, there we go, let me know when I'm there. I also usually dry, drag a um, guideline into the middle of the gutter, and the reason is because if you see here, this is your cover, right? The margin on the right is here, and this is the margin on the left for the cover. This is the right margin for the back, and the left margin for the back, and now you can see why the gutter needs to be twice the size of the margin, because otherwise the imp stuff on the on the column, on the cover, would not be in the center of the cover. Um, anyhow, where were we? We were dragging some more lines out. And InDesign is very good about um, giving you a little snap when it hits right in the middle. Okay. So that's the basic layout um, to start working. You would do that again on the second page. Um, but I don't need to show you that, and I can move on to the next video.